Hi friends, welcome back. So now we have discussing about topic of metal mining between two type of deposits, the comparison. So our topic is comparison between the coal mining and metal mining. So we have discussed about already previous topics about basic concepts of the metal mining. Uh, but uh, now we have we have to know the uh, differences between the two deposits. So friends, we have discussed right now. Before starting our topic, you must be subscribe our channel and also share our videos to your friends in your WhatsApp or other networks. Okay, friends, uh, let's start. The comparison between the coal mining and metal mining. So go to the topic. The coal is a better type of deposit. Uh, it's a sedimentary deposit. Deposit. We uh, already know about this. But the metal metalliferous minerals are non bedded and irregular type deposits. Okay, so non bedded deposits uh, normally have the large horizontal extent and the more uniform in thickness, quality, and the dip. The non bedded deposits normally have the large capacity. It have the more quality and the quantity. It spread into the number of kilometers. So they are often in the mildly mildly inclination, very steep, nearly vertical bedded deposits are not common. We know that the coal deposits are the sedimentary bedded type deposit within the thicknesses uh, particular uh, sized, but the, it uh, very steep. But nearly to the vertical bedded deposits are not common. It's not equivalent to its uh, bedded type or regularities, uh, certain thickness. We can't estimate about it. The mineral ore bodies are uh, a rule it's either irregular in the extent thickness quality and the dip which are not how these parameters can identified in the mineral bodies such that metal mining in many cases exist in patches or shoots so next the hence metal mining methods metal mining methods are more varied it may have ten changer in the same mine in time to time so if uh, we have the middle of the stage uh, in the ore body, metal mine ore body, we have changed a different type of methods for extracting in the uh, especially little span of the time. But regarding to the coal mining, uh, one of the method is established to extract the coal deposit as continuous until the end of the total body, but is not to fair for the metal mine. The coal is soft than most of the mineral uh, metalliferous minerals and the coal drilled there of the electrically operated. The coal is soft type material, but the metal is the heaviest weighted and different type of mineral substitute in the ore bodies. Imperfect electricity is the power in coal mines, whereas compressed air in the manpower in underground metal mines. But we have used in the coal mines, the electricity is we have using, but where the metal mines there is only compressed air is the main power as using in that the extraction of coal is uh, comparatively easy yes why because the it is the direct extraction and possible to use of uh, coal mines for the electric electricity or power for uh, melting of the material materials or metals anything the roof of coal is compressively soft and crumbly uh, as well as the above raw, above uh, topic like that the coal can be used directly after extraction from the mines as fuel but regarding to the metal mines there is need a processing for getting of the minerals for the metal infrastructures of the metal mine therefore the heavy and costly but in underground mine the coal is much simpler uh, the metaphorous mining horizontal mining the standard practice required for drivers of roadways we know we have to open up the drivages with the practice required for the drivages is particularly a standard practice. In underground coal mines, we have to estimate and identification of the explosivity and the inflammability of gas such that fire dump uh, like that other noxious gases. But in cases of dangers does not exist in the underground metal mines. So neglects cannot be used in the coal mines. Why? Because uh, there is a inflammability of gas uh, like that uh, fire should be catches very easily any spark of existed in the uh, mines in the coal coal mines so such that 
uh, we must be use only permitted explosives and flame flame proof machinery should be used in the core mines regarding to the metal mines there is no probability of uh, gases should be exi uh, existed there so that we can use nickel lights also and also we need not any flame proof enclosures uh, of machinery should be used there so sampling and assaying is very important in the metal mines but coal mines does not call as the regular team of workers in the sampling and the quality control uh, if in any case a probability of the coal should be the very soft so that we can extract very easily very less span of time if any case of irregularities of the uh, surveying but in case of metal mines the sampling should be very dangerous if in case of it uh, probability uh, direction should be changes it needs to uh, very time in the large capital investment should be wasted in that possibilities so that next point is the geologists are required for the metal mines why because we need the particular assaying and the sampling and also surveying should be established there and the metal mines require the high standard of surveying like that i have said about that so that friends this is the topic of our uh, differences between the coal mining and metal mining uh, i hope so you have understand about our terminologies and this topic thank you friends if you once again requesting to please subscribe our channel thank you thank you very much